Weather clues in the sky. Clouds. Table of contents. Chapter one, the soccer tournament. Belle wiped her forehead. It's so hot. I hope we can make it through our final game. Her cousin Dylan looked up. The sun is better than those clouds. They could be in a storm. Then, no more soccer. That would stink, Cody said. Just like last tournament. First clouds, then thunder. Then we all got sent home. Those aren't storm clouds, guys, Belle said. Here, I'll show you. Weather isn't so mysterious once you understand it. She led the boys over to where Lily was drawing with sidewalk chalk. What's up, Lily asked. We're afraid we'll be rained out, Cody said. But Belle, the weather girl, is going to explain why not. Sometimes clouds are made by airplanes. These long, thin clouds are called contrails. Chapter 2. Cloud Creation When the air near Earth heats up, it rises, Bell said. It carries moisture from lakes, rivers, and oceans. Dylan laughed. Maybe moisture from our sweaty jerseys, too. The Water Cycle the air cools as it rises, Bell said. Drops of water form around pieces of dust. If the air rises high enough, ice crystals form. Those drops of water, or ice crystals, turn into clouds. Rising moisture, water and ice crystals, rain. Clouds all start the same way. But they don't end up looking the same, Bell said. Dylan pointed at the sky. Yeah, there's a dolphin, and that one's an eagle. Bell laughed. I mean that different kinds of clouds look different. Some form high up, and some hang down low. Some are puffy, and some are flat. Those are all weather clues. Chapter 3. Kinds of Clouds Belle picked up some chalk. See how today's clouds are thin and wispy and up really high? They're called cirrus clouds. Cirrus clouds form up where the air is very cold. They're made of ice crystals. What clues do cirrus clouds give? Asked Dylan. Do they say if we're going to win the tournament? Clouds can't tell us that, Belle said, but they do say good weather for today. Lily drew puffy white clouds on the sidewalk. So what about when the clouds look like big cotton balls, she asked. Or turtles, Cody added a head and feet to one of Lily's clouds. Cumulus clouds are flatter on the bottom and puffy on top. Those are called cumulus clouds, Belle said. If they're not very tall, it usually means nice weather. But sometimes, Cumulus clouds grow super tall. They turn into dark, cumulonimbus clouds, Belle added. Dylan colored Lily's clouds so they were gray and towering. Are they monster clouds like these? They mean thunderstorms, right? I hate storms. Cumulonimbus clouds are dark gray because they hold so much water. Belle nodded. Cody raised his hands like claws. Grr, watch out for the cumulonimbus. Sometimes the cloud, the sky looks like a gray blanket, Cody said. What clouds are those? Low flat clouds are called stratus clouds, Bell said. Stratus clouds form when wet air rises slowly. They can bring light rain or snow. When a cloud is so low it touches the ground, it's called fog. Chapter four, game time. Hey, crickets team, called coach. Time to huddle up. Game time and no storm. You were right, Belle, said Dylan. Weather isn't such a mystery when you read the cloud clues. 
You've got it, Bell said. So stay tuned for tomorrow, because every day is another weather day. But for now, go crickets. <laughs>